Hi everybody. Hey guys. How you doing? We are gonna do some more science today. So uh, we're actually gonna wear safety glasses for our science today. Do you have safety glasses? Oh good, Virginia's got safety glasses. I look like a cat right now. Yes you do. So, so um, we are gonna do some acid-base chemistry with some really cool things. It turns out that there is a chemical inside this substance here. This is um, Tezo Passion Tea and it contains hibiscus. Is this your favorite tea? No. No, it's not. But at any rate, there is hibiscus in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pour some of this tea into this container here. Tea. See how it looks kind of red? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna see if we can change that red color a little bit. Oh, does it smell? I think it smells lovely. So, um, Virginia, let's tell them what we have here, okay? Uh, remember what's in this one? Uh, baking, baking soda. Soda. Okay. Baking soda. We're gonna put some water in this one. Water. And we've got the tea in here. Tea in here. And then we're gonna put it in here. Remember this one? This one's called. Vinegar. Vinegar. So we're gonna put some vinegar in there. So, um, this is no, we don't drink in lab. So let's turn, let's put some water in here. I put a little line there. Can you put the water in the line? And while you do that, I'll put the vinegar in this one. So put the water up to the line of those, okay? These, by the way, are fantastic. These are just little, um, you know, solo cups, and they make excellent beakers when you can't go back to your school and get your own beakers. Okay, that's good. I'll stir them. Let me get it up to the line. Yeah, go ahead and put it in the, pour some water in this one. That one? Mm hmm. So, what we're doing here is we're just going to dissolve some of the baking soda in water, and that way um, it gets pretty good mixing. Is that enough? Yeah, it'll be plenty. That's perfect. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we are going to pour some of our tea, not all of it, but some of our tea into these different containers, into the acid, into the water, and into this sodium bicarbonate, which is a base. Okay, it's a special kind of compound. Turns out that in this tea, there's something called an anthocyanin, and that changes color in the presence of different kinds of compounds like acids or bases. So let's see what this does. Red cabbage does the same thing, but this is tea. Are we ready? All right, let's pour a little bit in here. What do you think is gonna happen? a little pinkish. Okay, so we, it looks a little bit lighter. You don't like the smell of vinegar. I'm gonna get something. Alright, she's gonna get something. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this into the water. And they look very similar. So we our tea and our water look about the same. Now I'm gonna pour some here into my, um, well, my minute, base. For a minute ago I saw a snapper that I was gonna use Oh, that's okay. You don't need to come, come on, sit down. I'm gonna smell. I know, it's a vinegar smell. Let's pour some in here. Look at this color right here. Ready? Let's see the color. Gray? This is like a, a, a greenish gray color. So there is a different color here. So this reacts Bubble. with a base to give us a different color. Bubbles. Well, that's not the bubbles yeah. part. So here's the neat thing that we're gonna do. Um, Today we're gonna make Bubbles. We are going to make some bubbles. You know how? Well, vinegar and baking soda make really great bubbles. So I'm going to add some vinegar to this one. Now, what color is it now, Virginia? Green. Yeah, like a greenish. So if I add a little bit of vinegar to it, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Alright, watch carefully. Oh, we made bubbles. Let's add a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, now here's the thing. This anthocyanin stays all throughout this reaction and so it can change color with a base and it can change color with an acid. So you might notice that as I'm adding this, its color is changing back closer and closer to what it started as. Now it's also getting a little more dilute. So if I add some more, just the straight tea, you can see that's kind of purple. So it's probably still you know, a little bit basic. So there we go. This, yeah. So the cool thing about this is that you can use this like an acid base indicator. It seems to be one that will go, you know, from staying about the same in terms of a, in terms of an acid to something that's sort of like bluish green in the presence of a base. 
And then you can add some acid to that base and see that it changes color up back to what it used to be again. So, um, Virginia, did you like a little experiment? Yeah. Oh, very fun. So, thank you guys very much for joining us. Um, try and make an experiment out of this. See if you can do this at different temperatures. And um, see if you can test some other substances in your house that might be basic. So I used baking soda. There's, um, there's also sodium carbonate that you can use. You might have some chalk you can grind up. There are some things that you can find that'll work out really, really well. So, have fun.